Thanks for helping me here after class, teacher. I really appreciate your help. What am I working on? Oh, sir, it's my science fair project. As you remember, I won the National Science Fair last year. My experiment was on behavioral modification. You remember that, don't you? It can easily be manipulated and programmed. They might think they have independent thoughts. Yet, for the same reason, when higher authoritative figures come along, they are willing to sacrifice their individuality. Mm -hmm. And let someone else be in control. I want to play this game called Role Reversal. Today I came into your office as your student and you my teacher. Just a minute ago, you had all the authority in this room. And now you're not so sure about yourself, right? Look into my eyes, sir. Look into my eyes and say, yes, Skyla. <laughs> now, I want you to use your imagination. Pretend if you had to. Pretend Skyla Blue is your teacher and you are her student. You can pretend, right? Look into my eyes, sir. Look into my eyes and say, yes, Skyla. <laughs> Good. Now pretend you are my student. And you look at me and imagine I am this authority figure. Imagine I am someone who can totally tell you what to do. Imagine I am someone who can tell you how to think. Every time you look into my eyes, every time you look deeply, deeply into my eyes, you lose a little more control. You allow your mind to be shaped to my liking. Every time you say, yes, Skyla, your subconscious becomes more open to my suggestions. You are giving me more control. You are thinking to yourself right now, I am just playing along with this girl in a Catholic school uniform. Now, no way I am giving up this much control this quickly. I can walk away from this game anytime. But there is also a part of you who is thinking, it feels good to let Skyla Blue take control. I feel like I belong to Skyla Blue. I want to stay like this forever. Just a few minutes ago, you were this mighty teacher, an authoritative figure who can make or break a student's career. Now, you are feeling so comfortable as a schoolgirl's student that you've even temporarily forgotten that you are a teacher. <laughs> now, you are looking at me like a puppy, a sweet little puppy with such adoring eyes. A sweet puppy who is wagging his tail. A sweet puppy 
who is begging to obey its owner. In fact, I want you to pretend you are a dog. Just for a moment, I will turn you back into a human. Use your imagination. I want you to bark like a dog. Go ahead, sir. Bark like a dog. <laughs> Good puppy. <laughs>